here there is a y there is a y so we can find the constant time step one by the general formula a plus x to the power of n which is n combination r a n minus r x to the power of r this is the general formula six combination r here will be six because the highest power is six four y square all to the power of six minus r minus seven y minus four all to the power of r this is step one you will take anything here will go in here and whatever you have here will go in here the power here will minus r and r will be here alone the next step is which is continuation of step one six combination r four six minus r y two six minus r minus seven to the power of r y to the power of minus four r six combination r four to the power of six minus r y to the power of 12 minus 2 r minus 7 to the power of r and y to the power of minus 4 r what you will do next is put the numbers together 4 to the power of 6 minus r 6 combination r will still give you a number minus 7 to the power of r then i will put the y's together which will give me let me use this space y 12 minus 2 r y to the power of minus 4 r solving this for that we have 6 combination r 4 to the power of 6 minus r minus 7 to the power of r then y to the power of 12 minus 2 r minus 4 r law of indices applied here the next step is this and i'm going to be substituting back here after i get my r the next step is y to the power of 12 minus 6 r at constant time y is y to the power of zero this we cancel this i'm going to have 12 minus 6 r is equal 0 12 is equal to 6 r and r is 2 step 3 is you put your r back here 6 combination 2 4 to the power of 6 minus 2 minus 7 to the power of 2 y to the power of 12 minus 6 2 variables will always disappear after substitution this will give you 15 multiply 4 to the power of 4 times 49 multiply y to the power of 0 and you have 15 times this is 256 times 49 multiplied by 1 solve this you get and you have 188160 as your final answer this is the constant term in the given binomial expansion if you're given a variable and a constant with a power at the top to find a constant term you are going to expand this bracket and find the constant term However, the simple secret is the last term, which is 3 to the power of 8, is the constant term. Here we have a variable and a constant. The constant term here will be minus 4 to the power of 11. Here I have a variable and a constant. The constant term will be 7 to the power of 12. If you have a variable and another variable separated by an operator here 
constant time does not exist no constant time if you have the same variable either x x or y y or p p constant time exists and many questions in constant time usually come in this order try this question out on your own find the constant time in each of the given question i will see you in the next video